So here, um, for example, is, is a, a meta-analysis in schizophrenia patients on, of 82 uh, randomized controlled trials in a large uh, number of, um, of patients here, 3,500, which very clearly show that these um, uh, add-on antidepressants you know, appear to be more efficacious on the symptoms here. So depressive symptoms, negative symptoms with an improvement, but also having some improvement on positive symptoms, quality of life, and also response rate overall. So it is relevant to say that antidepressants have a more broad effect potentially if added to antipsychotic uh, medication. So it's a worthwhile thing to do, and these are relatively new data from 2016 by our colleague Helfer. Now, agomelatine in, the, in that context, and we'll talk about you know, some of the, the relevant medication which were also introduced before as part of the Cipriani meta-analysis. Uh, agomelatine, uh, as you know, the uh, M1, M2 receptor agonist and uh, 5-HG2C uh, antagonist, um, has shown, for example, here in an open uh, 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 label study, uh, proof of concept study conducted in Germany at the Central Institute of Mannheim, um, um, that, that depressive symptoms in schizophrenia are helped with and improved significantly over the course of the, uh, the treatment by using agomelatine as an add-on treatment here. And similarly, as shown in the, in the meta-analysis, we can see some improvements of um, you know, psychosocial performance, not just the depressive symptoms, but also improvement of negative symptoms and global psychopathology. Now, you're using, um, as I said before, antipsychotic medication can induce some of the symptoms, but also at the same time, if we choose wisely, we potentially can also help with depressive symptoms in, uh, in schizophrenia patients. And this is a study here which uh, looked at, uh, at the effects of lorazidone over a, a, a six-week uh, period using the MADRAS uh, rating scale. And as you can see here, um, so here's a, the overall patient. Uh, between baseline and follow-up, Latuda 40 to 160 milligrams um, dosage. You can see an overall significant improvement of depressive symptoms measured with the MADRAS. Um, and here are different uh, MADRAS cutoffs, you know, 12 or 18. And depending on that cutoff, you get, you know, slightly um, a larger improvements overall. But the message is that lorazidone um, is also helping with antidepressant um, uh, effects here in patients with schizophrenia. And if you put that into context with other um, you know, second generation antipsychotics here, for example, quetiapine in a post hoc analysis compared to placebo, um, and Latuda 80 to 160 milligram compared to placebo, again, in schizophrenia patients, can very clearly see that there is a, a significant improvement uh, comparably between uh, Latuda-treated patients and quetiapine-treated patients here as well. So, we see that, that there is a, is a good effect um, if we um, use those types of medications to treat depression and anxiety symptoms. Now, the other really core business in, in treating um, or improving outcomes in schizophrenia is looking at cognitive functioning. And cognitive impairment, as you would know uh, from, from long-standing you know, decades of research, is a core symptom in schizophrenia. The treatment of, of neurocognitive impairment has um, you know, gained a lot of attention, maybe more so from a cognitive remediation uh, point of view, from cognitive training point of view, which really goes back to the 1970s and 1980s when these concepts of treatments were introduced. Um, so it, it's, not a, it's not a novel approach to improve cognition. But what's been um, maybe changed, and the question has been sort of raised over the last sort of five to ten years maybe, is what medication can actually help cognitive function in addition to cognitive um, training interventions. So this is not to make people smarter with schizophrenia, but it's enhancing cognition helps also to improve social cognitive abilities. For example, facial recognition, um, social interactions, so response to social cues using you know, uh, you know, better cognitive functions. That's one. The other is that we need to be aware which of the antipsychotic medications or other medications even more generally would actually um, uh, impair cognition and have negative effects rather than positive effects. And then the key question is, do we have medications available which might help 
you know, some of the, uh, the treatments. So cognitive remediation is a, a treatment which we use also in anxiety disorder, use in depression. So it's a generalized concept of um, helping to uh, improve co you know, specific cognitive functions by training these on cognitive tasks. Um, so it's, it's training a certain task, for example, memory, uh, concentration, uh, processing speed, they can be improved, and then they can also you know, help other cognitive domains as well. And these are you know, important um, um, aspects also to improve social cognitive abilities as well. So there are a number of studies which show cognitive remediation is really helpful for the treatment of uh, cognition in schizophrenia. And these have been made also available as part of the uh, college recommendations to include cognitive therapies and cognitive training, cognitive remediation therapy in, uh, in the approach to treating uh, cognitive disorders and cognitive impairment in schizophrenia. So they are essential part of it. Now the other component, as I mentioned, is the, the effect of antipsychotic medication. And this is a study which looks at the overall lifetime dose of antipsychotic uh, medication and its effect or relationship, uh, better to say, because it's cross-sectional, its relationship association with global cognition um, at sort of middle-aged patients with schizophrenia. You can very clearly see here that, for example, higher cognitive uh, abilities were associated with these factors here. For example, higher school marks, uh, lower disorganization symptoms, um, later you know, age of onset. So all things which we would expect and vice versa. So people with, a high, with an earlier onset of the illness have poorer cognitive outcomes down the track. But also higher lifetime dose um, uh, of and years used antipsychotic medication were also associated with a lower age of illness onset, higher number of lifetime hospital treatments, which we expect as well, but also higher positive and negative symptoms as well as disorganization symptoms. So this is important to understand of how maybe certain medications can impact cognitive function. Mm -hmm.